Hello everyone. What I'm doing today is I'm going to, I have started work on the next composite trailer that I'm going to build. This one is going to be slightly larger than the first one. So in order to make the new form for this trailer, I had to laminate together some OSB board and some quarter inch plywood. So, as you can see, there's a bit of a mess here. And what this is, is a bunch of weight, random items, <laughs> anything I had handy. What I did was I cut 11 inches extra out of the USB board to laminate onto a 4 by 8 sheet of OSB board and then did the same thing with the plywood. As you can see here, the plywood has been shortened up a bit. I cut 11 inches out of two 11 inch pieces out of the plywood and then I glued it all together and screwed it down to the wooden floor. Probably put about 40 or 50 screws into it. One nice thing about a wooden floor like this in this shed is uh, you can use it to glue things together. Just take the screws out after, which I will probably do tomorrow morning. And then I'll have one side, which will be approximately eight foot 11 inches by four feet high. And then I will cut it so that it will form a shape similar to this one. One thing I'm going to do is make the lower part of the front a little bit blunter and tighter probably the same radius at the top and a very similar radiuses at the back but it will be 11 inches longer why didn't i make it a full nine feet the problem is the foam that's available available to me is shiplap so you do tend to lose about an inch can get it down so you only lose about a half an inch but you do run the risk of as you might not you can maybe see it a little bit there you can see a little bit of the shiplap was still in this one one of the reasons i didn't use this one is this is just an old piece of uh, extruded polystyrene and it's pretty roughed up. I decided to go with all new XPS board for the for the first build. And see here, this is the way I spread glue. I use a paint roller and a glue tray and a and a paint tray. It's a lot easier and quicker than trying to squirt it out of a bottle. And this way you can cover everything with your glue. It makes, it makes, it, it makes a much stronger lamination. And if you haven't watched any of my other videos, this is basically the material that gets created Fourth trailer. This is a window cutout. It's very strong. It's very lightweight. Works out to approximately 1.25 pounds per square foot, which at first, when you think about it, you think that, well, that's very heavy, but the body on the last camper that I built, 
only worked out to 188 pounds for a 4 by 8 teardrop shape like a piece of foam you see over there. I'm trying to document this a little bit better this time. There's a few things that I'd like to say. About this type of construction. My attitude is why would you build a hundred teardrop trailers and put a wooden frame inside of each one and then skin it over with pylon or aluminum or put a gravel guard on it, whatever they call it, when you could just build one form or buck as I like to call it and build a hundred teardrop trailers without any wooden wood in them at all. Use one form, one frame, over and over again, and forget about wood. Wood makes a great material for forming other things. Use plywood and, and dimensional lumber to pour concrete. You don't put that dimensional lumber into the concrete. You just use it over and over again to pour concrete all the time using the wood. You can do the same thing with trailer construction. I've proven it. I just do not see any sense making a plywood frame inside of a teardrop trailer. Just make the frame so you can use it again and just have a completely composite teardrop trailer that's lighter and stronger better insulated, can't rot, can't leak. This to me is the future of manufacturing not just teardrop trailers, but any trailer. If you go onto the Australian website styromax.au, I think it is, you'll see they build huge trailers using a similar process, only they don't use a form they have, you know, the kind of equipment that CNC machines, so they can basically take a 40 foot long piece of finished composite material and cut it into a shape that will make a trailer, which I can't do. But this to me is the next best thing. So anyway, a bit of a rant, but uh, that's my attitude. Every time I see a teardrop trailer made out of wood, kind of cringe. Just me, but I think it's, it's a total waste of time and money. All right. Thanks for watching.